What's up, everybody? Yesterday, I picked up a 2022 Triumph Trident 660. I traded in a 2021 Kawasaki Vulcan S. Um, I rode this home yesterday, but really what I want to talk about in this video is the phone mount. So I took the phone mount off of my Kawasaki at the dealership and I originally put it right here where it was in vertical mode and I don't like that I wanted I wanted something centered just below the dash and I looked at a couple different options one option is the quad lock that a lot of people seem to use but I couldn't really find how I could get it centered on the handlebars and also below the dash um, so what I did was I started messing around with the mount that I had and I just was able to put it on the handlebar here and it fits perfect it's on there but I can move the bike I can move the bike with this mount and it's not going anywhere and if I sit on the bike <coughs> at eye level which right there is about eye level, you can see that I can still clearly see the dash, no problem. And this thing moves, so there's, there's a, a ball here that you can unscrew, so you can adjust what angle that mount is pointing at. So I just wanted to share this because if anybody else is in my situation, where you want to mount, you want it mounted centered, and you want to be able to see your phone below the dash without blocking the dash, I think this is a really good option. The quad lock mounts I was looking at, and I'm afraid of the quad lock mounts because I've seen a lot of reviews of people who had trouble with the MagSafe charger. Well, I use the MagSafe charger on my nightstand, so it just, I'd be afraid of having trouble with that and not, not having it work out. So what I'm gonna do is I ordered a cable from Daytona Europe. I, I don't know what it is. It's some outfit that makes motorcycle USBs and I have a USB-C coming and it attaches to the handlebar. I, I don't know if I'm gonna attach it to the handlebar or this wire, but ultimately I can just run a short cable from here to here or down a little bit further to a, US, a USB-C to a lightning cable because I have a iPhone 12 Pro Max. But then the plan is to just wrap that cable down and under here. And I've seen some other people do this where they can run it through here, down through here. Now I think if I take the seat off, there's one bolt here. If you take the bolt off, I think you can move this a little bit. So I'm gonna run it under here, under the seat, where I'm gonna connect it to, let me see if I can take this, take the seat off here. So I'm going to run that cable, come out through here, and into this connector. And now I have to figure out how to change over from the cable that I'm getting to this connector. Um, I, I did order this connector here, which I think is a Sumimoto HM090, something like that. I'll put more information in the, in the description below. Um, but Hopefully I can make some connection to this. This is the this is the connector. Now the other thing is these this thing, this connector, these little pieces, these rubber seals, this is just a dummy connector. Those things pop out. So you can take a paper clip and pop those out. I may try to just use this connector and 
pop this connector back in and and if that works right that's loose on there um I'll worry about that later <laughs> but then if that works i can use this which is really what triumph cells so triumph cells the usb that comes in here and clips in here that you may have seen the pictures or videos for but i'm not sure what good that does if i have a usb connection here how does that like how do people use that you just run a cable outside hanging down your bike to your phone um because if you're taking your seat off your bike's probably off well how do you how do you charge anything with it so maybe i just don't fully understand the use of that if if maybe you have experience with that and you use it put some comments in the in the below the video but yeah that's my plan so again i just wanted to say this this mount works it works pretty good i'm supposed to go for a ride tomorrow um and we'll see if you have any questions leave some comments below thank you for watching